right, we are back from the four-minute interlude between games uh, to bring another good one. Um, Sandusky's make their return. I mean, you played last week. I don't. Oh no, you didn't because this game was delayed. I was wondering why it ha- felt like it's been a while. Wow, PD and Fletcher, you guys must be just really down in the dumps. So you've had two buys this year. Um, so we'll see how you come off of that. If there's any rust versus Muffin Men, who just played and looked very good doing so. Um, 9.5 points per game. That's like half a point off first. 5.8 points per game went up after last game, I'm sure. Um, interestingly, Sandusky's best in the NBA in the league, second in the NFL. Muffin Men, best in the league on celebrity name puzzles, and first in geography, which I don't know if you guys like consider that a strength, but it is one apparently. So uh, there it is. Um, so now Muffin Men are writing a two-game win streak that has put them in the playoff field all of a sudden. Three-game win streak. Three-game win streak. Wow. Okay. So Sandusky's, I don't know how you feel. They're hot. But the last time you played, you scorched the they-thems. But that was a long time ago now. Um, so we will hop into this. The first category is going to be Texas-sized college football rivalries. So it's going to be college football rivalries in the state of Texas. Does anyone want to double this? Uh, no, we will not. Who goes first? Yeah, I just don't know what to You're going start. first. We do. Um, I, I don't hate this. No, I don't. Ah, I, don't I don't like it. it. No, Pete. I, Mars, I kind of no. want to know, but I just don't know what to expect. The question. No, because you don't really know what to expect at oh, all. Okay, yeah. all right, they probably right. know this. All right, let's let's fast, Pete. Right, oh, so no, no one's doubling. Um, oh, deal. Zendusky, you're going first. Here's your question. What Big 12 and AAC teams that share a metro area play in this the This is TCU and SMU. Final answer. God damn it. Matthew's a TCU, <laughs> Matthew's a TCU fan. We should have doubled. Double? That's why I told you. There's only, so many really colleges, there's only so many colleges in Texas. There's a lot. I didn't know that both schools had to be in Texas. Yeah. Yep. Matthew's a TCU nice. fan over there. <laughs> what? Um, all right. So, Muffin Man, this is yours. One of the few cross-town, true cross-town rivalries in college football. What AAC and Conference USA teams play in the battle for the Bayou Bucket? I think one's got to be Houston. What, what was there? Yeah, hold on. I, I think one's got to be Houston. I can't think of the Conference USA. Uh, fucking... Oh, uh, it, um, I don't want to say like too many. No, I, I feel like I know one, but Tulsa, I can't the goddamn Tulsa? name now. Tulsa. No. Tulsa is an open I, I wouldn't. I, if we have nothing at the end, I wouldn't hate that. Rice. No, let's use our phone, a friend. Who are we gonna call? Who would you call though? I have my dad right here. Do you think you know this? You know? I, I'm, wait, wait yeah, till last second. Wait, I have one. I have one in mind that I gotta try to think of the name. You don't think it's it's Tulsa or Rice? I'm trying to think what else. Barry, oh, Rice might be good. Now here, let me let me ask my dad. All right, All right. phone a friend. Dad, Dad, come here. No, Phil. You can't. Hey. <laughs> How you doing, Mr. Sailor? Hey. Um. Oh. Let's see. Um, it's in Texas. What do you think? Get um, out of here. Get out of here. Houston and um, Houston and Rice. Houston and Rice. Houston and Rice. Okay. That's Houston totally and Rice. Rice. So. Yeah. Houston and Rice. Final answer. It is Rice. Here we go. Look at this, guys. Look at this. The I. There's nothing, nothing beats a, like the dad phone a friend. We've had it many times for many teams, and it's just always, it's always a lot of fun. Um, I question like pistachio nuts as he's yeah, yeah, yeah. He's <laughs> the, trip, yeah. the uh, muffin men 1.0 were like infamous for like one of the kids would just phone a friend his dad every single game, and he was like the best phone a friend in the league. It was hilarious. Um, <laughs> all right, so it's one one after one. Uh, NBA is our next category. This is the Sandusky's niche. Um, of course, don't worry. Double it, you cowards. This word is nope. a little bit of a misnomer. It's hard for the National Basketball Association to be niche, but here we are. Um, so, Muffin Men, you're not doubling this, correct? Nope. Okay. Um, so, Sandusky, this one's for you. We're going to be talking about second-round draft picks this evening. Um, here's your question. 
In 2011, the Pacers selected Kawhi in the first round before sending him to the Spurs. They also selected what international big man known for his three-point shooting? What about like uh, Gallinari? Wait, uh, shut that? up, Calvin. Cal, Cal, not on. Oh, not on, Cal. No, sorry. Uh, I'm thinking um, this. He was on the Bulls. I'm trying to remember his name. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to think too. Um, start with the G, I think. Uh, fuck me. Started with the G. No, no, I'm thinking Ginobili. I know his name. Oh, Turk, uh, Turkovich. Uh, no, it's um, no, you're right with the G, and uh, it's like Giorgio, uh, George, Giorgios, um, Turkovich, Turk, Turk, fuck, Gorgil. It's like Giorgios Kalas, Kalazetic, or something like that. Oops. Uh, George, uh, Jorgos Kala, Kalazaki's final answer. I don't, I'm gonna butcher that. Uh, Correct. Uh, Mars or Cal? Any, guess no, I, I don't think I know. I thought it was Galinari. Danilo? Danilo? How are we pronounce his name? I mean, I don't hate that. I don't really have anything else. Sure. I don't know. Gallinari. Right, well, just, he's a player, right? Yeah, let's go. Uh, Gallinari. Gallinari. Final answer. Okay. Uh, P. I I think you were thinking maybe of Hito Turkoglu, but um, yeah, that's what I thought he was saying. This is uh, Davis Bertans. Still oh, oh, oh. It's, it's a made-up name. No, yeah. you should have known that I, one. So I always thought he was that French made until up. I found out through this that he's like Latvian or something. Um, he's Mikhailis. European. I thought he was just so that's the first NBA question he hasn't missed all year. It is, yes. Oh, uh, obviously, one of your niche on a 2011 <laughs> second round pick. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's an active player. All right, here's yours, Muffin Men. The Rockets had two first round picks in 2011 as well. They took Marcus Morris and Nikola Miritich, but they also selected what wing who starred in college. He won SEC player of the year and they selected him 38th overall. Anyone got an idea? I have one idea, but I want to keep thinking. Damn it. Oh, you are muted, by the way. Could it be like a Kentucky person? Probably. Or Florida. I don't know. Rockets, rockets, rockets. All right, I mean, I can throw my guess out there. Go for it. Trevor Ariza, but I don't. Go for I can't think of. All right, Trevor Ariza, final answer. Okay. That's incorrect. Fuck this fucking guy. He can go to fucking hell. He's a piece of shit. Fuck Florida. Fuck Chandler Parsons. Final answer. Yep. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wait, I guy. thought he was. Oh, wait, did he get traded to the Mavericks? Is yeah. that what it was? Yeah. Uh, he yeah. signed him free agency. I thought. Oh, that's it. Yeah, they signed him to a huge contract. Was it a max contract? And then the. Oh, um, damn it. And he signed he's, he's a Grizzly. And then he fucked us over because he the played the like, greatest Grizzly of all time. <laughs> damn it. I all was right. thinking that, but I, I was just thinking Mavericks with Chandler Parsons. So okay. you get one point on your niche there, and we move on to Muffin Men's first niche of the night, which is going to be Friends. Sandusky, do you want to double Friends? No, we're good. All right. So here – oh, wait. I'm sorry. Let me update the scoreboard. There we go. Good one so far. Here's your question. In season five, when the main characters all make New Year's resolutions, what career does Phoebe say she's going to pursue? Do you have any idea, Petey? Uh, I'm trying to think. I'm thinking chiropractic. No, she's already Because she was like a massage therapist. No, and in the she, 90s, she, it was seen as like a pseudoscience. No, no, no. This would be like a bizarre thing. It still is a pseudoscience, Will. Um, Phoebe says she will pursue... Maybe a taxi driver. 
but I don't think that's right. It's going to be something bizarre with Phoebe. Um, it's definitely not a taxi driver. Um, yeah, let's let's go taxi driver. Final answer. Okay. Chance still here. I honestly have no idea. Yeah, it's gonna be something stupid. Um, Miller Mars. I'm just yeah, no, you guys don't know. No, I was gonna say I have watched it, but I have no I could, idea. I could use my phone a friend of my sister, but like we I don't know. Where do you use it? Where do you use it? We can't use it on our Oh, it's our niche. Yeah, I just think it was there. And we yeah. already used it. And it's a steal. <laughs> um, and it's a steal. I mean, it's a triple, triple I'm going to go with a, yeah, sorry. Uh, I was not a, a lawyer, final answer. Okay, lawyer. Petey was the closest. It was obscure. It was in the transportation industry. She said she's going to become an airline pilot. Oh, I was never going to get that. All right. Oh, so it remains 2-1. Muffman, here's yours. In season eight, Phoebe pretends to be Ben's mother after she learns what musician's child is in his class to get tickets to that person's concert. Sting, final answer. <laughs> yes, it is Sting. There you go, Cal. Did you know that, Pete? Yeah, I did. That's unfortunate. We yeah. just ended up on pages of random episodes in their plot summary. And I just pulled the sentence out with kind of like a random thing that wasn't mentioning in the episode. All right. So that ties it up at 2-2. Two, two. Each team takes one point off their niche. So very similar paths to get there. Um, Sandusky's with both their lifelines. Muffman have the double. All right, next category. I think PD might like this one. The CIA installing governments. Uh, does anyone want to double this? This is a good category. <laughs> no. PD I want to double this but I don't want to have a... Um... <laughs> no. A, a sports <laughs> racism happen again. Where it's like say, it's a funny I'm category, no, so I want to double, but let's there's not low double key, this. There's low key been a lot, so let, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so I will say that Muffin Men, you're not doubling anyway. Your category is going to be very, very, very slightly different, but it's still essentially the same. Um, so this is for you guys, Sanduskies. The CIA supported the government of which Central American country against socialist uh, forces known as the Sandinistas from 1981 to 1990? Was that in an. Um, I think this is. No, I think this is Guatemala. I don't want to list them all. There's one of three. It's too bad Dan's at a Bulls game. We could have phoned a friend him. No, this is Nicaragua. You think it's Nicaragua? I think it's Nicaragua. Nicaragua okay. was my thought process. That, I, I was going to say either Guatemala or that, but I couldn't Let's go with Because I was thinking Nicaragua before you said Guatemala, and I didn't want to spit it out because I didn't yeah, want to give him a like steal chance. But Fletcher agreed with Nicaragua, too. Yeah, think, let's yeah, do that. Nicaragua. All right, so we're going to go Nicaragua, final answer. Okay. It is Nicaragua. Oh, yeah, boys. You just start doubling these. So, <laughs> of course, um, the opposing force in Nicaragua would be the Contras, who obviously were part of Iran-Contra affair um, when we sold stuff to Iran to fund the Contras. So um, there's that fun piece of knowledge. Muffin Man, this one's for you guys. This is what I meant by slightly different. Yours is going to be about the CIA overthrowing governments. So still the CIA, still the governments, just a slight twist there. Here's your question. The United States invaded what Caribbean nation to depose a military dictatorship in 1983? Caribbean. Um, I mean, I mean, Cuba, Cuba, like, too obvious. obvious. <laughs> yeah. That's almost too obvious. But like it's, it seems no, too obvious, we right? Did. What was the best? Nah, I, mean, I think that was earlier than this, actually. Yeah. No, that was way earlier. It, it's not it. it yeah. Yeah. Um, Honduras. That's, That's not Caribbean. Caribbean. It's got to be like Haiti, Dominican Republic. I mean, I don't. Petey knows them, so we can. Hear Port, them. Puerto, Rico. Puerto Rico. Uh. No, nah, we already had. We already had control of Puerto Rico, but I don't think. I think it's uh, the DR, maybe. Yeah, I, yeah, I like that. That's fine. Okay, Dominican Republic. Final answer. Okay. <laughs> Uh, this, is uh, this is Granada. That's it. I, I, I don't know. So I like that answer. Lock it in, Fletcher. Granada, final answer. It is Granada. <laughs> the DR was my guess. So just riding the MVP here early. There you go. Um, all right. Next up is MLB Blockbuster Trades. Same one, double this. Ooh, will Max Scherzer be one? 
and it's gonna look like that. <laughs> like, I, like oh, no, I just think too uh, easy. Um, uh, no, okay, it doesn't sound. Like I don't, I don't think, I don't think. Like, we um, spit on three doubles now. And no, I, we're not doubling at MLB. Not, it, it okay, always pops I, up. All right, good, good. You're on the same page as me. All right, so no one's doubling this one. It's 4-2, but still a close game, obviously, with a lot to go. Um, okay, this is for you guys for Sandow's keys. Tyler Glass now, what outfielder and Shane Boz were traded to the Rays for Chris Archer in 2018? Um, oh, I'm trying to think of where Archer is right now. He's a pirate, and it's traded for a guy who I always think is a catcher, but he's not a catcher. Um, oh, we got to the, oh, the outfielder, I the team. team. Um, could it be what's his face from the World Series in 2020? Don't say out too many names. You know, we can phone a friend Duncan. He's gonna know this. Okay, but well, before we do that, just you know the outfielder I'm talking about for the Rays who went off in the World Series last year. With the he really wouldn't. You're last thinking name. of Rosarena, and this yeah. is way prior to that. Okay, um, okay. I want to say it's like flowers or flow. Mm. I don't know. If Duncan's gonna know this, let's just go ahead and get a point. I know, I I know it though, and that's what's pissing <laughs> me off. All right, yeah, we'll um, we'll photo friend Duncan here. All right. Why is it trying? My phone is trying to call him on Instagram for some reason. Uh-oh. Come on, Duncan. God. Uh-oh. God damn it. Oh, oh Duncan. <laughs> um, okay. Who was the outfielder in the Rays trade? Or Chris Archer. Glass now blank Baz for Archer. Um, Austin Meadows. Austin Meadows. Oh, it's Austin Meadows' final answer. Thank you. It is Austin oh, Meadows. Meadows. We're so close. So good use of a phone of friend. Actually, Will, now that you said that, I think we had a conversation about this, like Austin Meadows, like maybe six months ago, where you kept insisting to me he's a catcher. And I'm like, no. We, 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 we had an argument, and I was like, I swear Austin Meadows was drafted a catcher or something. And you're like, no, you're an idiot. And I, like, yeah. Because I confused him for a catcher multiple times. So he, he went to Grayson. Yeah, he was best friends with Clint Frazier. Um, and Chris Archer now back on the Rays, actually. So they get, the Pirates gave up all of that for Archer, who got cut and is now back on Tampa Bay, which is kind of funny. Uh, <laughs> all right. So that makes it 5-2, but the Muffin men can pull one back here. Michael Kopech, what infielder and Victor Diaz were traded to the White Sox in 16 for Chris Sale? Um, Yasmani yeah, Grandal is their catcher, right? Who's the, who's the second baseman we just got? Oh, this is 2016? Um, yeah. I mean, there's one name that comes to mind in – but I think we drafted him. Tim Anderson. That's what I was thinking, but I don't think it's him. I think they, I think we drafted him or. It, yeah, I think so. I'm trying to think like the last few years. Who is there? Who is there Not a Brayu. Yeah, I'm trying to think the third baseman or second baseman. Who is their third baseman? The last. I don't think it's the whoever it was this year. Fuck. Um, we're clearly Cubs fans. All right, we'll just go Tim Anderson, final answer. Okay. Acuna Mancata. You think it's what a wonderful phrase. Acuna Makana. It's um. Is it Yo Mancata? Johan Mancata? Oh, I thought Johan the White Mancata. Sox drafted him. Okay. He got traded from the Red Sox to the um, White Sox. Uh, yeah. So, Johan Mancata, final answer. Or, or sorry, it's, it's Mancata is his last name. I, and his first name starts with a Y. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'll give that to you guys. It is Johan Mancata, but it was close enough. Um, 
So should have known that one. Well, you, so I was I was pretty sure you guys were Cubs fans. So I was like, okay, I'm safe with this one. But you kept saying we about the White Sox, and I was like, did I mess up? I was just I'm just I was confused we. when you were saying we if it was part of like a <laughs> trade or something. I was right. saying we the White Chicago Sox. Sports. Chicago sports. It's, it's just no, the community at large. Okay. Yeah, um, the community. Yeah. We need a team to grasp onto. We all suck. But, <laughs> except for the Wolves. <laughs> all right. 2010's UFC Fletcher, it's your time. Fletcher! Oh, Jesus Christ. All right. Uh, Muffin Man, you want to double this? No chance. No chance. All right. So, Fletcher, this one's for you. Not your teammates, just you. Um, seven events have been held in this country since 2010, with the most recent being UFC Fight Night 142, Dos Santos versus Tuivasa. Uh... It might be the UK. Um... I would just stop talking and just think and then give one answer at the end because we don't know. Brazil, final answer. Okay. It is Brazil. Brazil. There we go, oh, Fletcher. I was actually fucking thinking Brazil. God, typo. Damn. Typo. Wait, it was Brazil. Uh, that's, a, that's a typo? Yeah, it was, that's right. It was Brazil. Okay. Um, which luckily it's not – that's not the answer to this one. So just don't guess Australia. That one's on me. It, it's not like I put it for the wrong question. I changed questions. Okay. Um. Here's yours, Muffin Man. This is the most recent Asian country UFC has visited. It hosted UFC Fight Night 66, Edgar versus Faber, Faber, in 2015 at the Mall of Asia Arena. I, I think Timer. I mean, I, I mean, I got two of them. <laughs> I feel like it's one of the two, but I feel like Korea. Thailand or the Philippines I'll think, would be a good I'll answer. Think, I'll say Korea or or uh, Japan. I like Japan. Yeah, I don't know. Korea's the first one that pops to me, but Japan. I feel like Korea me. would be more likely than Japan, but honestly, I don't know. I'm Why do you think that? I don't. I just. I don't. I, I don't know. Um. Let's let's do Japan. Yeah, we'll do Japan. Final answer. All right, Japan is incorrect. I hope is it Thailand? Good. No, you're close. Vietnam? Uh, no, keep guessing. Indonesia? Burma? No. no. Laos? Cambodia? No. <laughs> Malaysia? <laughs> oh, no, keep going. Singapore? Nope. India? Nope. Bangladesh? Nepal? Nope, nope. Okay, I feel bad for them now. Just <laughs> say the it. Philippi it's the Philippines, final answer. Yeah, it is the Philippines. Miller said it. The Philippines. God damn it. God damn it. God damn it. Okay, so a bit of a runaway here, but it's still a lot of time left. Um, so that's two points. I didn't give you either of them. Um, but with the doubles on the board, a lot of points left. Broadway musicals time. Um, Sandusky's, you want to double? No. Nope. 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 All right, well, here you go. What actress played Glinda in Wicked's original Broadway cast before being replaced once the show went on tour? Pete, this is your it. favorite musical. I know yeah, it. Pete, you should know this. Um, it's the voice of the girl in Frozen, if anyone knows her name. She's um, got a weird ass Bell? name. No, not, no. Oh. I have no idea. No, I, I, I've heard this fact before. I'm thinking. I know Alphaba, but Glinda. I'm thinking. Oh, you people. Alphabet, I don't want to say Alphabet because that's probably going to be their question. It, she's a blonde. Fuck, what's her name? I don't know it. Okay. Kristen Bell, final answer. Yeah. Kristen Chenworth, uh, final answer. Notable Kristen. Okay. Uh, Petey, I think you were thinking of Idina Menzel for Frozen, yeah. but she was the other character. Well, yeah, I, like she's like I think the more famous of the two. Yeah, that's well, she I got the weirder name, and I read the question of I just started thinking of her. Even even I knew that, so I couldn't really. Yeah, that was not comply. All right, here's your question, Muffin Man, to uh, pull back once again. In the Lion King musical, what character from the Disney film has a different gender due to the show's creator believing that there was no leading female character in the movie? 
think it's uh, Rafiki. Rafiki found oh, man. Okay. It would be Rafiki. Nice. Had a boy, Cal. Also, like, isn't there a female lead in the movie? I mean, I haven't seen Lion King in years, but isn't like. Isn't Nala is not really that. Nala. Lead. Okay, she's not relevant enough. Oh. All right, so you triggered to four with some doubles left. There's, uh, what, eight points on the board, so a lot of time left. Celebrity name puzzle. Does anyone want to double this? Hey, should we I'm all go chips it. in on this one, make uh, it interesting? Uh, let's double it, Miller and Mars. Might as well. Yeah. Okay. Do, Matt, well. there's a sports well category well. left, right? Yeah, there's one left. Let's not double this. All right, we'll see. Oh, Come on, on, Matthew. Miller, what are you saying? <laughs> You know, you uh, and the art of the deal. I've heard you oh, before on trivia it. trying to get the other team to double. <laughs> Cal Miller redoubling. All right. Was that a yes? Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right you're going to double this. Um, notably, never missed one of these, but we'll see how they are today. They can bury. I think we're only one for one or two for two. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Send us these for you guys. What celebrity is represented by the puzzle below? Um, so it's, it's something. No, Mars. Oh. It's something I I, Smith. Mars. Oh. Yeah, something oh. Smith. Emmett Smith. Emmett Smith. Well, Emmett Smith. But what is the minus? The uh, no, no. I get, I get it, the minus black. So you get take blacksmith, remove black. But how do you get the M? Uh, oh, emerald. Emerald. So Emmett. yeah, yeah, yeah. Emmett Smith. Final answer. All right, Emmett Smith. Final answer. <laughs> Incorrect. What is that? I'm gonna laugh. Smith, obviously. Rock. Rock. It looks like Jaden. Oh, Jaden Smith. Jaden Smith. Oh, right yep. Jade, 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 but I thought it was Jaden Smith. We are not going to get Jada Pickett Smith. Yes, Jada. The pink yeah. it is the giveaway. Yeah, the I pink didn't even it. tell that was pink, honestly. <laughs> also, color right. blind. So. Um, so, hey, you're crawling back here. All of a sudden, it is eight to five, and you could make it eight to seven right now. Here's your question What celebrity is represented by the puzzle below? Sigourney Weaver, final answer. Correct. This is Sigourney Weaver. Damn. Had a boy. Okay. We have a game. We have a game. Muffin Man will just not die tonight. All right. But they've used their double. Sandusky's have held on to theirs. So, you know, this year they've kind of gone past their curse of the double, but we'll see what happens now. Solar System Moons is our penultimate category. Sandusky's, you want to use your double here? Fuck no. <laughs> no. Okay. All Absolutely. right. All right. A simple no would have sufficed. Um, <laughs> Sandusky's, here you go. Phobos and Deimos are the only two moons of which planet? I'm trying to think of what only have a few moons. This, sound, this, this just screams Mercury. I was thinking Venus. Yeah. I don't know. My gut told me Mercury because isn't I don't know if Venus is like a moonish planet. It's hot. I... I know Venus is a. Uh, they all have moons. Most of them have moons. Well, this game's. Fletcher, what are all you thinking? If you don't get it right, I don't know. Um, I like Mercury because that was discovered by the Greeks, and Demos is a Greek name. And me, I, Venus. Most of them are Greek, Greek, aren't they? Yeah, yeah fuck. I walk <laughs> uh, myself into that. Um, <laughs> I, I like Mercury. Okay. I mean, uh, yeah. All right, Mercury. Final answer. Hey. Chance to tie the game here. Venus was the first one that popped in my head. I, I was saying I was gonna guess Venus as well. Wait, no, I don't really know. Wait, no, I was thinking Neptune. You were thinking what? what 
Neptune? Ever heard of it? Isn't Neptune pretty big? Doesn't it have multiple? I feel like I love Venus. Venus. Gas giant? Venus. Venus, sure. All right. Uh, Venus, final answer. Okay. Thank oh, God. God. I would be so upset. Oh, my God. Oh, Mars. Oh, Mars. Oh. Mars. Oh. You got that one. Mars specifically because I thought Mars, Mars that was one for you. Yeah. Oh, no. Um. I'm gonna make fun of you guys. I can't one. do it yet. I'm gonna make fun of you after the round. But here's your question. In the meantime, Muffin Man, the Moon Titan or in which planet orbits which planet? Fuck. This I think. Oh, that's fuck. Okay. I really think so. The planet like where Thanos Saturn. is from. It's one of those. I was thinking. Sa- I was Saturn. Oh wait, no. Or Jupiter. No, I Jupiter. Jupiter. Final answer. Okay, Jupiter. Final answer. Saturn. It's Saturn. This one's Saturn. Yeah. Saturn, final answer. Bad. It is Saturn. Oh. Okay. So that gives you a my team, my team doesn't trust me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, yeah. Molinari. Nine, seven. Molinari. There's the I was double. just so caught on the, on the – And the are you prepared to learn what the final sports category is for you guys? I, I feel like we screwed ourselves. It's going to be stupid. Yeah. Make it NHL. Yeah. NHL second lines. So you're going to see the, oh. the second forward line for an NHL team, and you have to tell me the team. Let's do it. Sandusky, this is for you. Name the Eastern Conference team based on their second line. Andrei Snechnikov, Vincent Trocek, and Martin. I don't even know how to pronounce his last name. Um, I think this is the Canadians, but I want to take Lock my it. time. Oh, this is your double. Trocek is like the most notable name of the bunch. PD, I've never heard of any of these people in my life. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Yeah, footers in the game, but can't be called. That's funny. I don't think it is. I don't think it is Montreal now. I think about it. No, it's not. Let's go with um, Islanders, final answer. Okay, what? All right. This would tie the game. The oh, hurricane man. came to mind. Hurricane came to mind first, but I thought it was the Islanders. Um, What's Shinnikov on? I, I, I'm try, I know all these names. I just I don't know why I'm blanking on the team. The hurricanes are my top one right now. Oh, I don't know. Shinnikov. The Panthers, would it? The Panthers. Yeah, the Panthers. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Go Hurricanes, final answer. Hurricanes, they finally trusted Mars. And he was oh, correct in the tie game. <laughs> Let's go, oh, Mars. I mean, I pick like big names too. Like these guys are studs. Um, so that's a double stolen. Sandusky's feeling like season one right now. Wow. All right. Muffin Man, this would win the game. This would clinch a playoff spot. Um, let me rephrase, it would clinch a at least a tiebreaker game. You wouldn't be out completely for sure if you get this right. Um, here's your question, possibly to make or break your season. Name the Western Conference team based on their second forward line: Andrew Kopp, Paul Stastny, and Nickel. Sorry, typo. Nikolai Ehlers. Wait, 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 wait. Fuck! Now I'm now I'm fucking guessing myself. The second K in Nikolai should be a J if that helps. Anyone. This is the. God damn, I, I keep getting these two teams confused all the time. Don't players, Sam, but don't say I'm just go off your No, I know, I know, I know. This is the Winnipeg Jets final answer. All right. For the win, for the playoffs, for all the marbles. It is the Winnipeg Jets. Let's go. Let's go, Mars. Sorry. Right. This is the Mars. Let's game. go. Footer and answer Mars, Mars. Scary, both use their phone a friend. Let's go, Mars. There it is. What what a game! What a comeback! Incredible, incredible! So, oh so my god! The Muffin that you guys won your first two games, lost every single game, and then won four in a row. <laughs> yeah, yeah we're getting we're hot. Yeah, wow! So you guys have a bye next week, so you'll be sitting and watching and praying, you know, that results fall your way, and you guys end up with a sole playoff spot. But yes, you will at worst be in a play-in game. Um, so. Big performance from you guys. Congratulations. Let's go. That was Two come from behind wins there. Let's go. Yeah. Tomorrow. Didn't you guys be playing this week and you, did, you pulled that out? I mean, well, it was what? 
seven two at one point, I believe. I mean, I we yeah. Like wow, yeah, wow. But I mean, there it is. So.